I am truly, truly excited to be here this morning. This is exciting for me. And when I came and I saw Frontier had an exciting announcement because we weren't told what it was. I was even more elated. And then when I looked around, I saw a three-tiered cake. And then I looked over and there's champagne. This, is some, this must be something great. And I can't wait like the others for this um, exciting announcement. The relationship with Frontier began in June of 2021, with service between Marriott and Tigo Bay. And this relationship has strengthened over the period, um, seeing Frontier offering expanding to include routes such as Atlanta, Atlanta and Orlando to Montego Bay in November of 2021, Philadelphia to Montego Bay, March 2022, Miami to Kingston, May 2022, Tampa to Montego Bay, June 2022. And let me pause here just to concur with Sharon. I can't say it often enough that um, Frontier Airlines, you had some very brave executives in the middle of a pandemic when airlines were crashing, travel was halted. You were brave enough. You believed in destination to make it. You were very confident to open not just one room, but five rooms into Montego Bay. And I'm waiting eagerly to see what is going to be announced later on. I feel a little bit nervous because uh, I'm wondering, you know, this top secret. Uh, when, I, when I spoke with Erica this morning, I was saying to her, am I speaking to somebody from the CIA or the FBI? Because I, I, I really don't know what is happening because we, we want to know what is happening and it's a top secret. But I trust that it will be something very good. And I'm happy that we are here today in Montego Bay for this announcement. And I welcome it wholeheartedly. I want to say that Montego Bay is at a place where it is expanded and we value our transportation sector, especially when we are talking about the, 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 the flights and Montego Bay becoming a hub. Uh, we really want to reach that place. And that is why our team has worked so hard to ex extend its footprints. Jamaica's good things, of course, right across the world. We are going to have a three-day event in uh, February, February 23rd, February 24th, and February 25th. Uh, we can't do all three in one day because it's just too much excitement. So with that ado, I'd like to uh, unveil the new routings, the new cities and destinations. We are now entering the Midwest and the Rocky Mountain region with new nonstop service to St. Louis, Chicago Midway, and Denver International Airport. And this is very significant for us. This is a plus for destination Jamaica, definitely is. This will add it to our numbers of arrivals for the year and that's very, very important to us. It will keep our hotel rooms booked, put heads in bed, and we're really excited about the announcement of these moves into the destination Jamaica. It augurs very, very well for Jamaica. I just want to say thank you to the Deputy Mayor, to the Tourism Board, to the Airport Authority, everyone that has welcomed us with open arms. It's been amazing. The love that you give us, it is true, truly one love Jamaica. That's how we feel. And uh, I know that uh, everyone at our headquarter operations in Denver are very excited. And uh, we look forward to just a huge growth and opportunity well into the future. So thank you very much. and. Uh, Again, thank you for, for hosting us and welcoming us to your island. You've been here operating for the past year, you know, with COVID and everything, and, you know. So how has it been for you to have a passenger load coming into Jamaica, not just Montego Bay, you know, for the past year? 
No, it's been really good. Um, our load factors are some of the highest in the industry. We usually average over 85% system-wide load factor, which is unreal. Uh, but passengers are very eager now to travel. You know, being at home for two and a half to three years because of the pandemic, people are eager, as you can see, with the number of passengers here today traveling. Uh, with our low fares done right, that's our, our slogan, we're able to offer the ability for passengers to travel uh, for a low fare uh, to visit friends and relatives that they may not have seen for two to three years or finally get uh, an opportunity to go out and enjoy the sun for once. So uh, we do see a, a great um, influx of passengers uh, southbound and what Alfredo and I are tasked to do is to visit the travel agencies, visit the tourism board, the communities and let them know who Frontier Airlines is so that we can increase northbound traffic to uh, in, enjoy Jamaicans to enjoy destinations uh, through the Caribbean or into the United States. To what extent would the rapid expansion of this airport uh, also contribute to your decision? Show us the love, we'll show you the love. That's, <laughs> that's, that's how we are. As we can get, as we are embraced, uh, we absolutely will put the commitment into the market. That, that's an absolute gift. Yeah.